Well, it's time to make another video, so I'm going to do it. I've been very reclusive the past week, past two weeks. I mean, my life is sort of like house cleaning. If you notice, nothing's ever changed in this room in two years. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't care anymore about things like cleaning the house. This is a vlog. So I'm just going to uh, turn on the camera and vlog. How's the stop smoking going? Does that answer the question? Do I care? No. I don't care about a lot of things these days. I've kind of withdrawn a little bit, like my idol Thomas Merton, one of the people I've tried to model my life after. He's very contemplative. He died while changing a light bulb. And I've learned I never change light bulbs. Things are getting more dingy because the light bulbs keep going out, but I don't want to die, so I don't change the light bulbs because I think about what happened to Thomas Merton, his great mind, his poetry, his writings, his theology. It was all for naught when he stuck his hand in a light socket or whatever he did, I don't know. I don't even get close to light bulbs. In fact, light bulbs scare me, to be perfectly honest. A lot of things scare me. I was at the doctor. He's had a lot of scary news for me. It scheduled for me a two-hour appointment. Two hours? I'm thinking, man, you don't schedule a two-hour appointment to tell somebody they're fine. How long does that take? Well, Mr. Dimmitt, you're fine. Thank you. Have a good day. But two hours. I knew that this can't be good. So I go in and I say, okay, so what's the story? I'm an investigative reporter, at least I think I am in my dreams. He said, well, I have good news. I said, good, what is it? How long do I have? He said, none of these readings have changed. This is so strange. They're all the same. I said, well, that's probably good, maybe. But I'm thinking in my... In my head, I'm not thinking it's good. I'm thinking maybe I should just nail this dude for malpractice. He told me that my time was limited. Now he's telling me nothing's changed. I mean, I'd made plans <laughs> to die, to just lay around. I'd even thought about those plans prior, prior to the doctor doing that. I mean, I had thought of slashing my wrists. But I can't find the knife, and all I have is this paintbrush, and that doesn't work. So I gave up on that idea. Now he's telling me I could live. So this is very frustrating. There are two things that really mattered to me, the boys I raised, and I'm out of touch with all of those. And the broadcasting. I looked at that last video I did. I mean, here, where I play like a broadcaster, <laughs> with me and my snuggly. <laughs> I said to myself, you're a mess. You're getting old. It's time that you hide and become a recluse. I said, no, I'll drive the car. And then I see the gas prices are climbing again. There's no reason for it. Am I the only one that realizes this is a terrorist attack? They do not have to bomb buildings in New York. All they have to do is manipulate the price of gas. And in case you hadn't noticed... When they did that last time, our entire economy collapsed, and it isn't getting any better. So now we're mortally wounded as a country, and if you don't think that's the case, my friend, look at the euro compared to the dollar and where it was two or three years ago. Now the gas prices are up. It's because of speculators. They told us that the last time. Nobody did anything about the speculation of oil. So that continues. And this time, this terrorist attack, will crush this country. Mark my word. There's no salvation. There will be no jobs. And Obama's wondering if we should go to war with Afghanistan. You go get them, boy. The only thing we should do is bring those boys home immediately. We do not put our boys in harm's way. Why can't they learn that? 
See, I'm old enough to know that Vietnam... Today, nobody even knows why that war was fought, and kids of my generation all died for absolutely nothing. The Korean War, does anyone remember what that was about? No. We can't win this kind of war. That is the truth. Obama, you're an educated man. You should know this. There is only one thing to do on the news this morning is the story. The story of a father who ran over his daughter because she was becoming too Western. That's the kind of trash we're dealing with, friends. They don't want us to live you think they're going to keep our oil prices down? They want to crush us, and they're doing it. There's one way to handle these people, and that's to use nuclear bombs. Nobody wants to face the reality of that, because they do not want us to live. It's that simple. If we don't convert to their silly idea of a religion, they will kill us. They even kill their own children if they begin to look like us. So the answer is very simple. You bring our boys home. They are too valuable to waste on a bunch of drug dealers. That's what we're trying to do. They're destroying our youth with the drugs, and now we want to prop up and support them. Our kids are too valuable. So what do we do? We tell them, if you come into this country and you hurt one American, we will blow you off this damn planet. This is a nuclear age. And before you get a nuclear bomb, we're going to blow you away. Stay away from us, because we will annihilate you. We don't need to be nice. And we need to all bear the responsibility of protecting our country. I know a lot of you feel I'm unstable and old, not normal, but I'm just tired, tired of the hypocrisy that I see everywhere today. Look at the comments. They're concerned because in a high school prep rally, somebody used what they call blackface. It was actually a black veil. Yet, look at the videos I do. The one on the Alcoholics Anonymous, where they say, drop dead, old man. Isn't there discrimination for old people? But that's perfectly okay, just say. You want to see another one? Look at the one on homosexual kids that commit suicide. I'm thinking about Harvey Milk. That commissioner guy that shot Harvey Milk and the mayor got two years in jail. See, there are discrimination that we tolerate against the old. It's perfectly okay. Against people that perceive sex a little differently than I and you discrimination against them is okay. And we give hours of television to a balloon that looks like a flying saucer that had a million volt power supply. And they were concerned the kid might crash into something with a balloon when they ought to be worried about him being electrocuted. A million volt power supply. What kind of gobberty goop was that? I get so tired with it. Some people say it's driving me out of my mind that I don't care if I live or if I die and I look for death because I'm as sane as anybody else. Get out of my video! You live under the house, you creep! Everything's fine. Jer's okay. Don't worry about him. He will be real good and fine. I'm normal, just like you.